Tyron, it's been a while, man. How's it feel to be uh, to be back on a fight week? Feels good. Feels real good. Compare it to, to your previous opportunities. I mean, you've had the layoff. I mean, does it feel special to be back? Is it is it more exciting? I mean, give, give me the emotion this week. You know, it's not like I was just sitting on my ass. You know, I was working, um, growing my brand outside of Octagon. And what people fail to realize is you have a major surgery, a major injury that you have to rehab. You don't have to just sit still and continue to take yourself completely off the radar. I'm still working Fox. I'm still doing my podcast. still doing my show on TMZ doing music, doing comedy, I decided to stretch myself and decided to take the barriers and, and, and take myself out of the box. And that's what I did over the last year. It wasn't that I went Hollywood. It wasn't that I forgot about um, the, the, the sport of mixed martial arts that gave me the platform that I'm riding on right now. Um, I was unable to compete because of an injury. When it got to the point where I was ready to go, June, July, August, I was available. This is the time that the UFC had a slot for the welterweight um, championship to be defended. So it feels great to be back. I feel great to have an opponent that really think he wants some. Um, to go out there and train and just have that mindset, you know, this is personal. I want to go out there and I want to send a message once and for all and just go out there and do what I do best. What made it personal? You know, just, you know, the narrative consistently stays the same. And, um, you know, I think the way you change the narrative is you go out there and you kick ass and you take names and you walk away. What do you think of this poster? I'm just curious right now. I'm good. I like the foil they added on the final one. The, 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 the bronze dust they, they added to it. Tyron, when you go into a fight camp such as this, you said during the time off you're doing all your Hollywood stuff and whatever, do you have to put that stuff on the back burner and just go into the fights? 100%, 100%. Or I, or if I don't do that, then I become like the other fighters who did a few movies and a few other outside projects and they let it take away from their fighting. I haven't allowed it to do that. This ain't my first movie. This ain't the first time I dwelled in something different. I've been doing that stuff my entire career. But now you guys are seeing the more of it. You know, after this fight, you guys will see a lot more things that I've been working on. And when it's fight time, I close the doors to a lot of different opportunities, a lot of movies that I didn't do, that, you know, huge movies that I had an opportunity to do, but fighting came first. And that's what fans, and that's what media, and that's what people in general need to recognize about me. I know what pays my bills. Right now, music, movies, television, all these things are great, great supplements, but that's not where I make my money at. How much, I'm curious to you about Darren's weight. I mean, that's all anybody's been asking him. How much do you care? You know, I don't really care. I, mean, I can't make him make weight. I can't make him miss weight. The um, only thing I can control is, you know, I haven't seen his open workout, but I guarantee you he wasn't looking as vibrant as I was. I guarantee you he's not in the 70s yet. I guarantee you if I get a skill on right now, I'm in the 70s. And I'm still got juice and I'm still ready to go. So that's what I can focus on. Um, the game plan, the strategy, whether he's 170 or 179, I'm, I'm gonna beat anybody. You said he was 82 this morning. Does that scare you a little bit? Was he? Well, does it scare me? Yeah, the, the, that he's not gonna make it, or does it frustrate? Oh, it, does, it doesn't scare me. You know, I can't control. Those are uncontrollable variables. There's enough things that can happen in a fight, right and wrong, that you got to focus on. You know, you got a guy with four ounce gloves. You can be winning. You know, we seen Chell Sonnen was winning 24 minutes and 30 seconds of the fight, and a triangle choke took the victory away from him. So there's enough of those things within a fight that I have to think about that I can't con I can't control this man. Are you surprised? I'm, I'm trying to answer questions for his way. Yeah. He's the one in this way. He should answer questions about his own way. People should want to know what I'm doing, how I'm ready, what I'm going to do different. What do you guys expect to see me on Sunday? Why do I think I'm better than this young buck? That's what I want to focus on. Because at the end of the day, I'm the one that's the professional. When have you seen the scale tip beyond 170 on my scale? What you is different for this one? What, why are you better? You know, to be honest, when you have an injury, you know, it forces you to use new tools. You know, everybody's so, um, so, so geeked and so ready to defend the left, right hand, but now they have to think about all different attacks from every different angle, high and low. So that's the thing that's different. The mindset is different. The focus is different. I had all of my coaches longer this time. I had my boxing coach longer this time. I had Dean longer this time. I had Duke longer this time. My training partners all were 100%. So. For me, it was just the mindset that went into everything. The nutrition was out of sight, the water intake, the supplementation, everybody threw the kitchen sink for this. It's about to be intercepted. The storyline and what everybody thinks is gonna happen is about to change once again. It's always the case, and that's why it's personal. What do you, do you mean feel that the people have, you know, think that Till's gonna What do you feel? Fight? What do I think? Yeah. It doesn't matter what I think. I'm asking you. It doesn't matter what I think either, because I'm whipping his ass on Saturday. <laughs> so he can say whatever he wants. I can think whatever I want. You can think whatever you want. But at the end of the day, who's better? Who's better? Who's faster? Who's stronger? Who sat more people down with one punch? Who's a better wrestler? Who's a better grappler? Who's had more experience against high-level opponents, world-class opponents? Who done the five-minute walk many, many times?
you're gonna be looking at me every time you answer that question. So but my question is, do you feel that people aren't giving you the respect that they should do, given that you have done all I, I didn't get into this game for people to give me. I can't make this person like me. I can't make him report positive on me. Only thing I can control is what I do Saturday. So I don't want to force feed my perception on somebody else. If someone takes a look into my career and actually do their homework and they say who I fought and when I fought them and how I got those fights and they see what I did against Tarek Safin and what I did against Jordan Mead and what I did against Andre Gaval. Damian Maya wasn't the first time I fought a crazy jiu-jitsu guy. I knocked out Damian, I mean I knocked out Andre Gaval in the first round. Tarek Safinine was a prospect that everybody was high on. So was Jordan Meehan. So was Kevin Gastelum. It ain't the first time. I fought seven Southpaws in a row. Last time I fought somebody that was five foot nine was Kasha. So six foot, whatever. His reach is basically the same as mine. And he ain't been through the war. He ain't, he ain't battle proven like I am. So as I said once more, all these variables go in my take. So that gives me confidence. I don't need a, a person to tell me, oh, he's slowing down. Did it look like I'm slowing down? That's what his coaches are telling him. I'm slowing down. His game plan is based on me slowing down. What's going to happen when I dart across the octagon Saturday and I'm in this shit ASAP? <coughs> they lied to him. So, now you got to deal with that. So everybody thinks you need to use your wrestling in this fight. You, you when was the last the time you seen me do that? I haven't. It's been a while. How many times in the octagon have you seen me overutilize wrestling? Not much. Carlos Conn is the last time I took an offensive takedown, correct? I mean, I think, I think stats speak for themselves. When you say the storyline's gonna change, what do you mean, I'm serious? You'll see. I like that. All right, thank you guys, appreciate you. Thanks. Oh. All right.